Okay, everybody, Sam back once again. It's now finally time to put the HTC One X versus Samsung Galaxy S3 head to head in a benchmarking test. So, as we all know, you know they're both quad core processors. This running at 1.5 gigahertz. This running at 1.4. But does that really make a difference? Is it the actual chip that's going to be better? Let's have a look now. So let's have a quick flick to these screens here. So as you can see, I've got my benchmarking tools here ready for you. So the first one I'm going to do is Quadrant. And obviously just to show you, I'm just going to do the multitasking over both of them. I'm just going to close all of them. So on that one, I've removed all. Obviously on the HTC Sense, you've got to take them all away individually, which we'll just do really quickly now. And again, this is just to show you that all of them have actually disappeared now. So now let's jump into Quadrant. So we're going to run the full benchmark on both of them. So we're gonna leave it. We're gonna let it go. I'll be right back in a couple of seconds. So here we go. So one, two, three. Off the go, and I shall see you in a couple of seconds. Right. So welcome back, everybody. So here we go. It's time to see obviously which one got. You know who got the better one. So we'll click yes on both of those. So let's have a quick look at them. We'll bring up the HTC One X first of all. So in terms of the test, the HTC One X, as you can see underneath it is the actual official one that you know has been done by the developer. Uh, my actual quadrant score here got 4,726, which as you can see there has been quite a lot of other devices, including the Transformer Prime, which is rocking the exact same processor. And as you can see there, to the Galaxy Nexus, and obviously the you know, um, Desire HD and the Samsung Galaxy Nexus S. The actual total score obviously a 4726 CPU of 12606 memory 3063 IO 4640 2D graphics 943 and 3D graphics got 2380 so has the Galaxy S3 beat it or is it, you know, is it on par? Let's have a quick look the score for the Galaxy S3 and this one has come in at 50, 5236 so as you can see, that has actually beat the, the official scoring for the HTC One X, and it has beaten the scoring I've just got. And again, we look at the other devices. Right, let's have a quick look here. So the total, the CPU, we've got 12845. Memory has got 4646. IO 5959. 2D graphics 980. And 3D graphics 1750. So as you can see, if you put them side by side like that, you know, I'm gonna try and put them on top of each other, and get into like a bit of a smartphone sandwich here. Hopefully that's going to work. So as you can see there, the actual 3D graphics on the Tegra 3 processor is actually coming in better than the actual Mali 400 that's running the Galaxy S3. 2D graphics, there's hardly anything in it. But 3D graphics, it looks like the Tegra 3 is actually a better, it seems like it's got what's well, got better scoring. But the CPU is better in this one, obviously memory optim optimization is better as well. So, that's the quadrant out of the way, you know, so in this test here, officially, obviously the Galaxy 3 has one. If you're looking to, you know, to do more 2D kind of graphics, more gaming, then maybe the Tegra 3 may be the processor for you. Anyway, let's jump out of that one. And obviously let's go back. Next one we're going to run is the all import on Lin pack. So let's we'll pull these down here and we'll zoom into both of them. So there we go. So what we'll do first of all is obviously we'll run the single thread and then we'll do a multi-thread one. So here we go, we'll do the single thread and buffing at the same time. So one, two, three. Right, so if you look at them, we've got 51056 against 56491. At the time of 1.5, is 1.64 is it? 1.64, 1.48, and obviously the 5.68 for the normal res. So obviously this Galaxy 3 is one this one. What about another single thread? We'll run it three times like I always do. This we've got 52 to 298, at the time of 1.6. Uh, this time we've got 56.415, the time of 1.49. Once again, Galaxy 3 has won this, so it's going to win this round completely for the single thread. Last but not least, we've got 55.592 against 51.337, with a time of 1.63. We'll obviously a bit faster than the Galaxy 3. So in the single thread, the Galaxy 3 has won. But obviously they are multi-core devices, so the multi-thread one's the one that's going to count. Have a quick look for you. So, I'll look at the multi one now. So, Limpark, we've got an impressive 139.164 with a time of 1.21. .1. A 
against a 1.09.24 at a time of 1.54. 1x is you know, completely destroyed it in the first run. How will it compare in the second run and third run? So the second run pulls in a 127.008 at a time of 1.33. Galaxy 3 seems to be struggling a little bit at 99.626 at a time of 1.69. Last but not least, we have got a 141, a massive score, and a Galaxy 3 once again has got slower again. Each time it seems to get slower. And the time is slower as well. So in the Limpack tests, the HTC One X um, has can kind of destroyed the Samsung Galaxy S3. So obviously single thread Galaxy S3 seems to win, but multi-core thread, obviously the Limpack, uh, the One X seems to win. So interesting. But I'm going to give that round to the HTC One X, just because the impressive scores it gave in the multi-thread over the actual S3. Let's jump out of here. Um, we're also going to run the Antutu benchmark. So obviously this is another standard benchmarking test you know, that a lot of people you know, seem to be using out there. And I've used it in a lot of my videos as well. So you probably see some of, the, you know, some of the previous scores I've had for the devices. So as you can see here, the Galaxy 3 has won a previous one. But you know, a fresh test. Let's see if we can actually you know, see how it does this time. So we'll go to start test and start test. So we'll do one, two, three off the go. Once again, I'll speed this part of the video up and we can actually see how they do perform. So stay tuned and I shall be right back. Right everybody, so the test is finally finished. So it's time to actually check out the scores and the doors as they say. And as you can see here, here are the scores. So you probably saw them previously. They've got very similar benchmarking than they had previously again. So the HTC One X will bring it a little closer for those that want to see a proper view of it. We've got 10,483 on the HTC One X, you know, which is not exactly a bad score. It's a very, very good score. And let's see where we come in terms of the ranking. So in terms of the ranking, this is number 3,489. Obviously running at 1.5 gigahertz or 1,500 megahertz. And again, you know, it's the, so effectively in terms of Antutu, it's a, th it's a 3,489 fastest device they've ever tested. Or so they've been tested on this. Obviously when you look at the Galaxy S3, as you can see straight away, it has got a much better score. And in terms of the ranking, we are under half of the One X. So in this one here, we've got a 1293. And obviously, you know, that's the 1,293rd fastest device that's ever been tested on the Antutu. So, you know, you know, it's kind of like, you know, which one do you think's, which one do you think's better? In terms of the benchmarking that I've run, you know, I'm running those three applications: Quadrant, Galaxy S3 is a clear winner. Linpack, I'm going to give it to the One X because it did better in the multi-thread. Antutu, once again, the Galaxy S3, it does kind of destroy the One X. So, the winner of the benchmarking rounds is the Samsung Galaxy S3. The One X puts up in our valid effort, but unfortunately it doesn't pack as much of a punch as the Galaxy S3 can actually bring to the table. So, what do you think is better? You know, which one do you prefer? You know, do you want to recommend Limpack more than and Quadrant and Antutu? You know, me myself running the devices on a daily basis, I can tell you the Galaxy S3 is a little bit faster. You know, it is smoother in day-to-day -day use. The One X with a software update hopefully can come to you know, up to par with it, but who knows? Anyway, that's it. If you want to actually see the, I'm also going to run the CF Bench, which is this one here. If you want to see that now, click on the little icons, and you're going to see that one again. I'm doing that one just just because it's more for XDA people. Anyway, people, that's it for the actual benchmarks. Any questions about these or anything else, Galaxy S3 or HTC One X related, hit me up down below. Follow me on Twitter at Sam J Pullum. Subscribe for more, and if you like the video. Don't, hit the, don't forget to click that like button. Anyway, going to get off, and I appreciate everyone watching, and I'll see you in the next video. <laughs> Cheers, everyone.